Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening and welcome to all my brothers and sisters from around the world. My name is Dr. PJ and I just want to welcome you. I want to welcome each and every one for being here this evening, for taking time out to study the Word of God with me. I just want to let you know that I appreciate your effort taking time out to study the Word of God. And I pray for us today that God will continue to enlighten us. God will continue to increase us. God will continue to prosper our soul. That God will heal our bodies, our spirit, our minds. That God will heal our spirit and he will continuously elevate us to a higher level with him. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Amen. And today is the prophetic word for today. And it's going to be from Isaiah 47. And Isaiah 47, God is going to expose the evil originators of witchcraft, wizardry, and sorcery. These things are important for us to know. Because we worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's no enchantment in Jacob and there's no witchcraft in Israel. There will never be. And God is against these type of behaviors. Especially when you are a chosen man or woman of God. And you daub yourself into this satanic kingdom of darkness. And I will be reading from Isaiah 47 verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. God is giving us the geographical location where all this wickedness started, Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. God is giving us a second location geographical location which is Chaldeans and the people of Babylonia and the people of Chaldea those two nations those two regions which is today I believe um, Iraq back in the Middle East take the millstones and grind meal uncover thy locks make beer thy the leg uncover the tie and pass over the rivers verse 3 Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So God Father is saying, because of all this wickedness, idolatry, sorcery, witchcraft, there is a punishment. God is going to punish because what sorcerers and these type of psychics people do? They sit in the seat of God to control you. See, people people pick pick on other people, but witchcraft is a very, very, very heinous sin. Satanism, Luciferianism, all this wicked evilness in the kingdom of darkness, going to another dimension to kill a person and murder them in the spiritual realm, doing evil sacrifices. God is very, very angry at those people who do those type of practices amen so we're going by what the what the word of god is saying not my opinion but god word i'm bringing the word to you isaiah 47 verse 4 as for our redeemer the lord of hosts is his name the holy one of israel so he said he's not gonna meet them those women, those men who do these things, he's not going to meet them as a man. He's going to meet them as God. They got to face God. They're going to be judged by God. Five, sit thou silent. Get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. And you see the kingdoms, you have the marine kingdom, the graveyard kingdom, the kingdom of the second heaven and the dimensions that they work, they operate. They do wickedness. Amen. Verse 6. 
I was wroth with my people. See, God was mad at Israel. God was married, mad at the children of Jacob because they followed them. God said, do not follow their practices. You, when you come out and you cross over, do not follow. Do not remember the wickedness that you learned in Egypt. Do not follow these Babylonians and these Chaldeans. Do not give your sons and your daughters into these Eden. Because they're half mixed with fallen angels and they will mess up the DNA for come out. My son is due to come in the flesh. But they disobey the Lord. Verse 6, I was wrought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Though this showed them no mercy because I was taken into captivity. Because of the idolatry and the wickedness and they was throwing their children in the fire and burning them as evil sacrifice. So God let them go into captivity, into slavery. So they could change their mind and turn back to him. And he says here in verse 6, like they didn't have any mercy, mercy upon them when they went into slavery. Upon the ancient, those has very heavily laid thy yoke. They mistreated them so bad. And those said it, I shall be a lady forever. So thou hast this not laid these things to thy heart. Neither this remember the latter end of it. So sometimes you see people in that type of behavior, in a type of life, and they're doing whatever they want to do. They're going out there, they're dealing drugs, and then they get caught. See, they didn't think about the repercussion. You didn't think like one day you will get punished for your sins retribution whatever you sow that shall you reap they don't think about the end or they're going to end up verse 8 therefore hear now this that thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly that sayest in thine heart I am and none else beside me I shall not sit as a widow neither shall I know the loss of children that's what he's saying about witchcraft and wizardry and all that idolatry voodooism those people who don't listen to God those false prophets in the pulpit those false bishops and false prophetess all of them all of that is considered idol worship so they boast they're boasting against God verse 9 but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in the perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. So remember what witches do. They are spiritual murderers. They murder and steal from your spiritual bank account. They make rich people poor. They make a prosperous business shut down and go into bankruptcy. They even eat flesh, human flesh, and drink human blood. So because of their sorcery and because of their enchantments, they will become a widow and they will lose their children. Verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, and thou said, None see it me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and no one else be beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with the enchantments, with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorcery, which wherewith thou hast labored from thy youth. So you see, it's a generational curse from, from, from mother to daughter, from granddaughter to, it's, it's a bloodline from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, thou mayest prevail. Who can battle with the Lord? Can any man or any woman, can any satanic fall? Nobody can battle with the Lord. 13. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. 
So when these witches and these people seeking, they want this person to be demolished. They want this kind of thing to be done. So they run to these witch doctors. They go in the mountains. They go in the bush. They go to Asia. They go to, to the Eastern. They go to South Africa. They go and look for Singomas in South Africa. They go and look for Vurui. They go and look for Santeria in some, in some island, some Brujo, some Brujerias. Huh? They go to Brazil and look for Macumba. They do all this wickedness to destroy the life of a chosen vessel. To steal your virtues, to steal your goodwill, to steal your, from your spiritual bank account. Then you can't hold no money. See, God is against all this wicked, ritualistic, demonic worship in the church. Your evil lodges, your evil fraternities, your cults, their evil sororities. Your evil lodges, those secret societies, God don't want them in the church. But they're right there. They're in your community. They're spiritual wickedness in high places. They're in corporate America. The evil gathering. They gather in the mountains. They go over here. That's what, that's what King Saul did. He went to the witch of Endor. That's what Solomon did. He followed his wives. And God said, 14, 13, Thou art withered in the mouths of thy counsels. Let now thy astrologers, horoscope readers, thy stargazers, the monthly procrastinators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. 14, Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor a fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchant from thy youth. They shall wander from everyone to his own quarter. None shall save thee. Praise be to God. And that's the word of the Lord from Isaiah 47. My name is Dr. PJ. I just want to encourage you today that there is time for repentance. Whatever evil charm you have in your possession, whatever evil crystal you have in your possession, whatever altar you have in, in your home, I purge you today. You cannot enter. Man and woman of God, they do it too. You cannot enter. With your candles burning, you cannot enter. With your pyramids and your triangles, you cannot enter. With your spells and your enchantments, you cannot enter. I pray for you to repent because the God of Elijah, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, my God, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, he will rain down fire and brimstone upon you. Again, my name is Dr. PJ and this is the prophetic word of today. Be blessed and be encouraged in Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth, Yeshua Mashiach, Yahweh Savior. Amen.